it's Elizabeth and don't look at my bandage. <laughs> I finally got that mole removed from my chin. I'm really happy about it. <clears throat> I'm getting over a cold by the way. Like when I was little people would call me guacamole and they would make fun of me all the time. So I'm really really happy that I finally did this. But I'm gonna have a band-aid and possibly exposed stitches in any videos that I make in the next week, which I know I haven't made any in like two weeks, so I'm going to try to catch up this week and next week. I was tagged to do the, um, what is it called, the book tower challenge. Um, I was tagged by Patty, um, and I was waiting for this tripod to come in, which came in last Thursday. Um, Yeah, but for some reason I just haven't gotten around to it. And I got a tripod that's actually meant for my camera, so it actually works. I bought, this is the third tripod I've bought. But yeah, so I have no self-control. Um, and I got a box from Amazon today. So I'm going to do a, like a third, we're a third of the way through February. And I already have a giant stack of books to show you guys. And I'm going to open uh, my box from Amazon. There's a couple things in there that aren't books. I'll show you guys anyway, whether you care or not. I'm just going to get into it. Um, I went to Second and Charles yesterday. And I got three books there. I got Weathering Heights by Emily Bronte. I read this. Well, I didn't really read it. I listened to an audiobook online. And I wasn't actually paying attention to it. So I feel like if I read it, like I actually read it myself, I might like it, so I've been looking for a really cheap copy. And so far I haven't found one at Goodwill. When I went to Second and Charles yesterday, I found this one and I believe it was two dollars. I also got Chain Ear by Charlotte Bronte. This was kind of the same situation. I listened to the audiobook but didn't pay attention, so I didn't like it. So I'm hoping that if I read this myself, I will like it. The last book I got there is Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. All three of these were $2 each. I have that big bind up of Jane Austen books, but it's huge. The only Jane Austen that I've read is Mansfield Mansfield Park. I've been looking for the rest of them. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to reading a lot of Jane Austen this year. I'm kind of thinking that with these kind of reading lists that, that I'm giving myself in a month, it's kind of looking like I'm going to finish February's early. I'm thinking that when I finish the books that I set for myself to read, that I'll read a classic. I'm really looking forward to reading all the Jane Austen novels that I haven't read this year. Went to Goodwill, which you guys always know is a bad idea. And I got two books there. I got De, de Duf de Coffee Blute, which means this, the smell or the aroma of the coffee blossom. And it's by Anna Veloso. It's in German. Um, this was only 50 cents at Goodwill. There must be a German person that lives around there, because I found two German books now in the same Goodwill. But this is about a coffee plantation in Brazil in the 1880s. She, this author is actually Brazilian. Um, so this must have been translated from Portuguese into German. Next one that I found at Goodwill is A Heartbreaking Work of Staggering Genius by Dave Eggers. I don't actually know much about this. They seem to think that this is a pretty appropriate title. Upside down on the back there's like another short story, so it doesn't even have a synopsis on the back. It was kind of an impulse buy. Um, because it was a title that I recognized and I heard people raving about it. And then I also went to another thrift store called Unique Thrift. I went in there once, like a couple years ago, and it was really dirty in there. Um, like, it smelled weird and they were charging a lot for, like, blankets and stuff. Um, so I was like, I don't like this thrift, this thrift store. Um, but I was hunting for... Jane Austen and Bronte novels, so I decided I'd just stop by there anyway, and I ended up buying four books there, um, and only one of them is an Austen novel, so. The first one that I'm going to show you guys that I'm really excited about is A Streetcar Named Desire by Tennessee Williams. This is a play, I've seen the, a play once, and I've seen the Marlon Brando film of this. I really love it. There's a lot of really, really great lines in here. 
there's a lot to think about in here. Next is The Remains of the Day by Kazuo Ishiguro. Lena at Just Kiss My Frog really loved this one, and as you guys can tell, um, I really like her and I really trust her opinion. Um, so when I saw this at that thrift store, they charge $2 for paperbacks for some reason, so all of these are $2. Um, but yeah, when I saw this at, um, at that thrift store for $2, I, I got really excited, so I picked it up. And it, it's, um, it's about a butler who is kind of thinking back on his life in post-war, post-war England. Um, so that's definitely, like, right up my alley. Another one that is kind of a YouTube made me do it one, um, is The Replacement by Brenna Yavonov. It's kind of about, it kind of seems like it's kind of Silent Hill-esque. There's, like, demon babies, zombie girls, and stuff like that, but it just sounded awesome. This cover is awesome. I don't even remember who, but someone here on YouTube was talking about it, and it's like, this just sounds like the most awesome, like, the most creepy and interesting, I mean, demon babies. Demon babies! And Silent Hill is one of my favorite movies, and for some reason this just reminds me of that, and I, lo I love most horror movies, um, so this seemed like one that I would really enjoy. And then last from that uh, that thrift store, nothing too exciting to most people. It's the Borders edition of Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I feel kind of ashamed of myself that I've never read Pride and Prejudice, but now I have a paperback, so I'm planning to read it very very soon. So I'm really excited. This is one that I bought on BarnesandNobles.com. It was on. It was like bargain price, so it was only about five dollars. Um, but it's "Bring Up the Bodies" by Hilary Mantel, um, or Mantel. Basically, this is a historical fiction trilogy about the Tudors. World War II and the Tudor era are like my favorite, like time periods to read about. This one and the first one have both won the Man Booker Prize. They're really highly acclaimed, and they're about the Tudor. So. Sounds awesome. We're gonna get into the unboxing. Here's my box. There's three books in here and two things that are not books in here. I bought this using the gift card that my cousin gave me for our super late version of Christmas. I'm not going to bother holding this up. I have enough stitches in my face. I don't need any more. Packages of air! The first book that I'm pulling out of this is Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantel. This is the first book. Bring Up the Bodies is the sequel to this one. The next two go together. I'm really excited about this. Um, I got Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children and Hollow City by Ransom Riggs. Um, these were both on sale pretty good. Um, I think this one was $5 and this one was maybe $9.50 or $10. Um, but I really love creepy stuff. There's creepy children in here, dog babies. I'm, I'm really excited. I'm so excited, guys. I really like creepy Victorian stuff. Like, if you guys have ever seen Oddities, I want my house to look like that store. This is, it's so cool and I'm so excited. Most of you guys probably know what these are. I mean, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children is a pretty self-explanatory title. And on to non-book things from this box. So if you if you guys don't care, you can, you can leave. <laughs> um, instead of commenting about how much you don't care. This is a watch. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like rose gold. A uh, focus camera. Um, it's not real, obviously. I mean, I paid ten dollars for this, um, but I only have one watch, and it's black, so I feel like I needed a womanly watch. So, watch. Then, last thing is this tablet case. Um, my tablet came with a case in the box, but I feel like that one's not enough protection. 
Um, and then I got one that came with a keyboard. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but this is not a very pretty color. Um, online it looked like it was like bright royal purple and it's like mauve. Um, but I mean it's nice when I actually am using the keyboard. But I mean other than that it's like really bulky and cumbersome and I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't like this one. Um, so I got this one and this color is actually closer to the picture that was online. And the back spins so you can um, like stand it this way or this way which I think is awesome because like for some reason I can't read and eat at the same time but if I have my tablet in here like this then I can. That was my book haul of shame. I think only one of those books follows the rules. My mama gonna be mad at me. So that was my book haul and unboxing and random other crap haul. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.